chicken. Yes, the gang of six are at it again. And what would you think about? Oh, yes. Their idea on deficit reduction is we are not going to spend money on an unfunded program. That will reduce the deficit. Um, how does that work again? Boy. Well, that's kind of similar to double accounting, isn't it? Mm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. As was expected, the FCC to soon strip Fox of its TV and radio stations. Oh yeah, they're going to use the clause, clause that, uh, for, the pu for public interest and convenience and uh, necessity. Uh, that the fact that Fox News is basically an outlaw organization and has criminal tendencies, so they have no intention to uh, re-up their broadcast licenses or their TV licenses, so it means Fox is now a dead entity. Oh, just like that, they can kill a, net, a huge organization. Yeah, well, because it's, it, it, um, yeah, too many of the Fox reporters are not pro-Obama, so put it this way. If Comcast hadn't agreed to a whole bunch of things, you'd think that they'd have let Comcast buy a network so that they could get in on the protecting their uh, internet base. Mm -hmm. And press, which is a lot of the reason they did it in the first place, because right? they know that Obama wants to go, he wants to strip all of the cable systems of their internet capability and turn it over to the networks. Now they own one of the networks. And press on the right and left agree it's all over for the Republicans in 2012 because the public is demanding higher taxes and unemployment. Oh, I love that. I mean, they admit, they, I mean, uh, you know, we, got, we got Rex, he, you know, he shouldn't hear, we, I bring him out and he shouldn't hear these things about our president because this is Rex Obama. He, they're, uh, they're going to throw the Republicans out because Republicans are trying to cut the deficit, which is causing the lack of hiring and higher, you know, everything, inflation, all of this stuff, the lack of sales, the lack of car sales, lack of home sales. So they're going to throw the people out that they voted in to put an end to the spending so that the Democrats can have four more years of doing what they're currently doing now. It, it uh, I, you know, I, I, I don't miss, Sean Hannity isn't often right, but he said, the people that put them in power are not going to throw them out because they're doing what they're, we're told to do, especially with 80% of the people in all the polls saying the same thing, that we need deficit reduction. Mm -hmm. And you're going to throw the only people out that want to reduce it, and like, the, uh, like the gang of six, they have, uh, everybody's going through, the see, the Congressional Budget Office says there is no deficit reduction in it. Mm -hmm. It's all, uh, you know, we're all going to do it down the line. I love that. We're going to immediately cut $500 billion from the, the budget by not funding a program that had no funding. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, isn't it? And U.S. and France step up pressure on Syria's Assad. I'm, I know. I'm going to hate to tell Bill O'Reilly. And see, Bill O'Reilly and Barack Obama think the same. You know, dictators aren't doing the will of the people, therefore they, they're going to be thrown out. Dictators never do the will of the people. That's why they're dictators. Don't they do the will of the dictator, in, in other words, themselves? Bill O'Reilly and Barack Obama, they no longer have the support of the people. They never had the support of the people. My God, it's like saying Mussolini. Mussolini got the trains to run on time in Italy by threatening to kill the, uh, kill the people. But... Uh, you they know, leave out that part. They just say he got the trains running. He got the time. trains running. And, and Obama and uh, O'Reilly think, well, these people aren't paying attention to the will of the people. Therefore, they, are, they have no legitimacy. They, they never had any legitimacy except Mike makes right. Mm. And GOP pushes a huge deficit cutting bill through the House. And they've been condemned by everybody. O'Reilly. You know, all these people condemn them because, well, this served no useful purpose. Well, yes, it does. They put a deficit reduction bill through the House. It doesn't make any difference, folks, whether it's symbolic or not. They put a deficit reduction bill through the House. The Senate has no deficit reduction bill. They don't even have a budget. They said, since the Republicans are taking control of the House, they've done two budgets already. Oh, really? The Democrats didn't do any since... Uh, since the last year of the uh, of the uh, Bush administration, no budgets have been passed. Job openings rate little changed in May. 
Well, yeah, there's going to be no change in, uh, it's going to be down in June because of the fact that no, uh, I mean, yesterday we got, uh, we got Steve Wynn, who is a hardline Democrat, condemned Obama. He said, I would hire 10,000 people right now for my casinos, except for this president. Because he said, I can't afford the health care, I can't afford his new taxes, and I can't afford, he, he said he's anti-gambling and anti-resort. So therefore, you think I'm going to hire 10,000 people knowing we have a president who's going to put me out of business? Mm -hmm. And that's what they also said. Obama's fundraising is abysmal no matter what they're saying. He has to bring in $163 million a month until the election. He only got, in the last quarter, he brought in $46 million. Uh, that's a big difference. How many months in a quarter? Yeah. He's already... Uh, you know, uh, 120 behind, and uh, and he's 300 and 320. He's three. He's 408, 340 million behind. What he needs, he has to do 160 million a month, not 40 million a quarter. Wait, 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 wait. 160 million a month. A month till the election to reach his goal. Are you serious? Well, he has an awfully high goal. And he, he needs a billion dollars to defeat the uh, the foreign interests that are pumping money into the into the. How much did he have to run the first time? Uh, Seven hundred and fifty million, and barely won the election. Uh -huh. This time, he said he's not getting the the people. He okay, his internet is gone because the when he those uh, people aren't working. They, they aren't much. working. So the people that basically would have supported him on the left. Are the first ones to lose their jobs because they tend, the, you know, they tend the working people tend to vote Democrat no matter whether they're union or not. They've lost their jobs. Are are they are they taking other jobs? They can't afford the internet that has went. So his 11 million internet base for getting money from doesn't exist now. So he's trying to get it from Wall Street and other places. It's not happening because uh, Goldman Sachs, who populates his. Uh, his administration has said they're not going to give any money to this man, and nobody on Wall Street will because it's a, it's not realistic. Is it? Even though he runs Wall Street, he don't expect him to get a large amount of money from people he wants to put in a jail cell. Yeah, like he did it again this morning. A hedge fund manager, he's threatening the hedge fund manager wouldn't wear a wire so that he could go get information on who's contributing money to whom. And so they're going to throw him in jail. They're going to indict him for the uh, for refusing you know, to wear a wire. Indicting. Yeah, he did. He refused to wear a wire for basically what everybody knows is the purpose to find out who is who is contributing to the Republicans. Oh, which means they were putting that guy in jail anyway, and to get him out of not going to jail, they had. Well, to no, he'd done nothing wrong. He was a hedge fund manager, and Obama says hedge fund managers all deserve to have higher taxes. They're they're working class people, folks. That just they really are. They're doing a job like the guy a pencil pusher is what they basically are. And Taliban denies reports that leader Mullah Omar has died. Okay, the trick is when you're denying things, it's probably the, the, is the truth. You don't deny you to show the person. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the glum and the restless, how recent grad struggles could hurt Obama. Yeah, they don't have any jobs. But the Republicans are responsible. We may have to pass legislation forcing small businesses to start hiring people. What? Uh, well, no, it's either, it, basically they're using, okay, remember Obama's take it's my way or the highway, you know, we're going to bring a cannon if you bring a pistol. Yeah, it's now, you either use it, the latest is use it or lose it, is what they're now telling businesses. That they're going to take it from them. Oh. Yeah. In other, not, we're, in other words, hire the people or we're just going to take the money from you? Yeah. And they, the guy said, well, I lose less by having the money taken from me than hiring the people. Mm. That he, he didn't figure on that part. But he'll have $2 trillion to put into social programs, though. Ooh. And deadly New Zealand quake uncovers Israeli spy ring. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Why they have a spy? Why do they have a spy ring in New Zealand? God, I've been in New Zealand. It's a nice place to go if you don't have anything better to do. It really is an island. <laughs> yeah, and it's an island a long ways from Australia, folks. It's not like one an island in Hawaii. It is a long ways from Australia. And strong earthquake hit Central Asia and buildings damaged. Yeah, I mean it's just um, uh, you know. The, the, since they had the earthquake in Japan, the earthquakes in Central Asia just keep going. I know what's causing them. 
it's the same thing. It basically, they're draining the water out of the ground for the for the communities. It leaves big vacuums in the oh, ground. You have huge caverns. Sense. The earth tends to fall in to fill. It's called you know it, a vacuum always must be filled. That, make, that makes sense. Yeah, and it, it's causing earthquakes. And the bigger the area that there's a, a, a bigger area to be filled, the bigger the quake is going to be. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay. Um, let's see. A, a cut is only a cut if you actually cut. 